We're gonna be making some strawberry carrots, uh, puppy chow, and some Rice Krispies. So we're gonna start off with uh, chocolate dipped strawberries. And the chocolate that we're gonna be using today is uh, the Wilton brand. The candy melts, they are orange because we're wanting them to look like carrots. We have some toothpicks. And then we just have a little baggie that we're gonna be um, swizzling the strawberries with. And then we have our melter. So we're going to start off with the strawberries, and all you want to do is poke the, the, what's it called, toothpick in the strawberry. Put all the little leaves down so you can have it like that. And then I'm going to push this back. And then once we're in there, we're just going to swirl it all the way around so it can go everywhere. Here is swirl it around so it can go everywhere and just move it around so like um, it's not that thick and some of the chocolate comes off just like that and then we have a little plate with a little bit of parchment paper on there but you just want to keep doing that all over again and then we have the little bag and inside the little bag, you're just going to want to add a little bit of some, uh, some of the chocolate in there. Just a little tad. Well, it depends how many strawberries you're going to be making. And then you're going to want to make a little tiny hole in the bottom of the baggie. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, okay, that's too small. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to try to keep cutting it. And just be careful with the bag because it is going to be hot, but you want it to be hot just because um, if it's too cold, it's not going to come out. So, you guys can see that little bit coming out. And all you're going to want to do is do this. Ah! And then you're going to swizzle it all the way on top so it can look like little carrots. But that's just the strawberries, and then right now we're going to be showing you some of the other recipes. Okay guys, um, so this is going to be our second one, and it's going to be the Rice Krispies. For the strawberries, you just want to put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes until they cool down, and you guys can be able to eat them. So, for the Rice Krispies, we are going to need a box of any Rice Krispies that you want. We're using this brand. And then for the marshmallows, we have the Walmart brand. And we're getting the minis, and then we're using uh, this brand for butter. And it's only three ingredients. That's all we're gonna be using today. And then it's a full bag of the mini um, marshmallows. And then a. Do so you want me to do it? Yeah. Oh, no. So we're gonna want to dump all the marshmallows on this bowl, and then this butter, when you buy them on sticks, it has the measurements on top, like one teaspoon, two teaspoons, and stuff. So we had already cut them out, and we're just gonna be putting them on the bowl. And then you just want to microwave this every like 15 seconds, stir it up until it's all the way melted, and then from there we add it to the Rice Krispies, and for the Rice Krispies, it's going to be six cups of Rice Krispies. So we're going to do the microwave thing real quick, so like that you guys can see the melting process, okay? Okay guys, so this is the consistency that you guys want your marshmallow to be, like runny and good to go, and then we're just going to be dumping it in our Rice Krispies. I don't remember if I put... Ask, tell you guys how much butter, but it, it is one fourth of a cup of butter. So we're just gonna be dumping it on there, and then we're just gonna stir it up. Let me see if I could do this. Hold it the other side on me. Yeah. <laughs> we're just covering Juju's face. Let's see. And you can also add some food coloring, um, to see if you want to change the egg color. We want to keep it white, like. Just a regular, because we are going to add um, some candies to make it Easter theme. So, yeah. Let's see. 
face. You can't see your face. Mm -hmm. Look, they're the only thing right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, nice to see you, Molly. Oh, no. crap. My hot button, you know. So you just want to no, no, like, mix no. this up. And we're going to make these into the shape of like um, some Easter eggs. So that would be fun. Oh, crap, I just choked the whole thing. Okay, guys. So we're just going to keep stirring it. And then once it's all like sticky and good to go, we're going to put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes so it can cool down and we can actually um, shape it up and do it the way we want to do it. So we're going to do that real quick. Put it in the fridge so it can be done and then we'll show you guys right now what we're trying to do with the easter eggs okay we'll be right back so this is the rice crispy ones we're just gonna finish them up so we just took them out of the fridge and they're not as sticky as before how they were when we were mixing it and we're gonna be using this cooking spray mm -hmm. some eggshells and the eggshells are we um Wash them with just a little bit of warm water and some dish soap. And then for this little uh, Rice crispy egg Easter thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, but for this one, we're just going to want to add a little cooking spray on the eggshells. So like that, it's easier to um, take them out. And then we're also going to be putting a little uh, spray on our hands. And just mixing our hands together and then um ah, i'm trying to close up and then you guys can start doing that so let's see we're gonna try to put an um some rice krispies in here and we're gonna just shove our like our thumb in there so it can like make a hole we're gonna try to make the easter the rice krispie look like an easter egg basically so Let's hope this works. No, nah, mine are not working. Oh, there you go. Oh, my man. It's fine, baby. I am a good man. I know. So we're just going to make the hole in there. Just like that. So on both of them, I don't know if you guys can see. So it's a hole, like, so we can, um, what's it called? Put some stuff in there. Mommy? So this is the bottom piece, and then we have our little mix right here of our candies and sprinkles. So all I'm going to be doing is adding a couple, oh shoot, a couple in there, putting the nest in there, and you can close this up and try to reopen it. And then it turns out nice. And then it turns on into an Easter egg. And then you can always add a little bit of sprinkles just because it is still a little bit sticky. But yeah. So they're doing one, me. two. Can you help me, Mommy? Yeah. This is going to be our third one. Yeah, our third treat. And this one's going to be Puppy Chow. People usually call it as well Muddy Buddies. There's like a whole bunch of different names for it. But we call it Puppy Chow. And it is super easy. And we're going to be using the, this kind of cereal. It's the Walmart brand. And we're going to be using the whole bag. So she's going to be doing the dump in on this container. And then we're going to use some of this chocolate chip. Um, full chocolate chips. And it's Walmart brand as well. Empty. We're going to be using Empty. one cup. This is with the inside. Put it in here. And then you we're going to be using off. one cup of peanut butter. Let me spread it out. Do you want to dump that one in there today? Yeah. And then we're going to be using about six uh, teaspoons of butter. Mm. Okay. Mm. Whoa. And then we're going to put this in the microwave for about, again, 15 minutes. Stir it up until it's all the way, like, liquefied. And then... Um, we're gonna dump it in the um, thing, and we'll show you guys that right now. So we're gonna start the melting process right about now. Okay, guys, so this is how melted we want our chocolate and peanut butter and butter to be. It's already getting cold. And then 
you can also add a, some vanilla extra. I got this on the Dollar Tree because I didn't have time to go to Walmart. And then if you, this is totally optional. You don't have to put it in, but this is just to add extra flavor. And if you do end up using it, you're going to want to use half a teaspoon in there. So I'm going to add it on there. So just one teaspoon. And then we're going to mix it together. Oh. Here, I'll do it. You want to go wash them? Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to mix that around so the vanilla extract goes everywhere. And then right now we're going to be dumping it on here. Okay? So Joanna's is going to help me hold that just because the glass bowl is pretty heavy. So. It looks so good. Hold it higher. I'm just gonna wanna dump that in there. Hi, mommy. So like that doesn't get the glass bowl dirty. So we're just gonna wanna mix it all together in there. Okay. And then you're trying to move fast, but not too fast because you're not trying to break the pop the cow. The cereal. Yeah, we'll put the cow. Okay, pop the cow. So we're gonna try to mix, 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 mix. Ah. And then hold on. We'll, we'll keep mixing okay guys so this is how much you want it to look like i don't know if you guys can see you guys are gonna try to get as much chocolate to um every little cereal and before it gets dry um we put one cup of sugar on each uh powder sugar so this is the powder sugar that we're gonna be using it's walmart brand as well uh i put one cup to each bag to each ziploc bag and then um, two cups of the cereal. And they are just gonna be shaking them up. So it can go all over, all the powdered sugar can go on all the cereal. So they're gonna be doing that. What? And every axis anyway, it's gonna end up um, moving all the way to the bottom. So not all the powdered sugar is gonna be used, but it's, we're gonna try to get as much on it on the cereal. So they're just gonna keep shaking it until it gets the consistency that all the cereal has uh, powdered sugar on it. So they got it to already a really good consistency of shaking for about, what, 10 minutes, you guys? You guys are shaking. So we're gonna dump them all in here. Let's see. Some more in chunks. Yeah, and the chunky ones are really good because it's full of more chocolate and stuff. So let me show y'all really quick up close. And then we did a little mixture of um, some Easter candies. And then the Easter candies that we're going to be using today are this one. This one's so old. This one's not candy. It's sprinkles. I don't know if you guys can see. Eee. So this Easter sprinkles. We have these um, uh, chocolate M&M's. And then we have this. Um, not one. Yeah. I didn't know they had peanuts. But, I mean, who doesn't like peanuts? I do. I so, do we're just going to throw these little mixtures, and I mixed them all together. And we're just going to be dumping them on top. But, that's our puppy chow one. Hey, guys. So, we are finally done with all three of them. So, this is how our um, strawberry little... Strawberry looks like? Yeah, strawberry carrots look like. Let me see if I can... In the bottom, it is crushed Oreos. So we just crushed them up so it could look like dirt. And this one? This one's our puppy chow. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get it closer to you guys. So that's how our puppy chow came out to look. And I just have something under so I can, so you guys can see it. And this is our Water. Rice Krispie okay. eggs. <laughs> They're a little cricket, but uh, they came out. So we're gonna be doing a taste test Taste test of the puppy chow. Here it is. So we all have a little bunch. Ready? Huh? Joanna? Yeah. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Wow, good. Mm. Thumbs up. Okay. And now we're going to be trying one of our, um, what is it called? Strawberries. So mm. you just get to get a strawberry. So 
Mm. And then we're gonna try our final but not least Rice Krispies. No. Okay. They're on the fridge. Ready? Ready. One, two, three, go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, dang. Thumbs up. All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry. So this is gonna be the end of the video. I we hope you like, like the, the video. video. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. And hit the bell. <laughs> Alright guys. Peace out.